the other ghosts don't know I only gave them half the food I brought the other half back here to her <clears throat> which I don't think she had any yesterday I didn't turn my light on hang on All right, <clears throat> we're going inside to see the babies. <sighs> Baby goats. That's lunch on the left and dinner on the right. Lunch and dinner. Some people are all worked up that I'm gonna eat these guys. Come here. Dinner. <clears throat> but I might not. Somebody wants to buy them for pets or for breeding stock. <laughs> they can. Somebody wants to buy them for food. They can. But that's what I'm going to do with them if nobody buys them. They're going to be food. So, yeah, they're cute, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. <clears throat> Come here. Come here, it's okay. He looks healthy. <clears throat> That one there looks healthier. <laughs> Come on outside, it's nice. Your tail looks like Bucky's. <laughs> like leave my tail alone. <clears throat> you lazy bums.
Come on, let me see your hooves. I'm gonna have to trim your hooves here soon. Hostia, hostia, hostia. They're not too bad yet. Yeah, I got a calendar I use to keep track of when I trim their hooves and when I test them for worms and all that stuff. But I got uh, dewormer herbs and stuff in their feed. So that's the only reason really I give them feed. Uh, is because it's got extra nutrients, uh, herbs, minerals, and vitamins that they may or may not get here on the land. So I put anti-parasite herbs in the feed. I put er uh, minerals and vitamins in the feed. And then the feed itself has certain nutrients that they need as well. <clears throat> so um, I don't give them just corn like David Ray used to. I give them So as you can see, they get a good variety of food. And then the powder is from the herbs and stuff. Herbs and minerals and that I fortify their food with. <laughs> Some of the powder is from the chicken scratch. But, uh, and whatnot. But anyways, yeah, it's just extra nutrients that they may not get from the hay and they may not get from the land. <clears throat> so, it's time to get more hay. Um, I'm going to redo these cattle panel rings with goat panel rings. Uh, and then I'll cut uh, a hole randomly i'll cut holes in the goat panels for them to get their heads in where they won't get their horns stuck so i won't have to do it quite like this this compromised the cattle panel but i think this is the best way to do it if you're going to use cattle panels <clears throat> uh, basically i go two rings from the bottom two rings from the top and i basically cut out the middle i'll just go cut out this you know whatever that way if it's a if it's a six by six they're most likely to get their heads their horns stuck but uh anything bigger they're more likely not to so what i'll probably do for a 12 i'll probably cut uh 12 by 12 sections out of the goat panels <clears throat> So I'll probably go like, uh, 
Uh, go. What's this? Two, four, six, eight. Wait. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. This is like sixteen by sixteen right here. So, <clears throat> give or take. And uh, so I'll probably go sixteen by sixteen for my spacer. And so I'll probably just have like go 16 by 16 or whatever, like two, two, four little holes, leave them. And then I'll probably go right here or maybe even down here. Yeah, I'll probably do. I'll come down 16, 16 is 32. It's 32 inches. Cut a uh, 12. Um, yeah, cut a 12 by 12 hole here. And then go another 32 inches. And then cut another 12 by 12 hole. Then go another 32 inches and cut another 12 by 12 hole. So I'll basically have three holes <coughs> in the uh, goat panel circle. Unless, except for these bigger ones, they'll have six holes. Like you stick their heads in <coughs> and eat. And then uh, the babies could get in and out. But the adults can't get in there and poop all over the uh, food. Because, <clears throat> yeah, you give a goat an opportunity. They'll jump on top of and pee and poop all over the food. It's like, why are you running your food? Yeah, they're kind of dumb in that respect. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I came and did this in the night when it was cold. So I didn't pick up my mess. <clears throat> so I still need to do that. Take this, put it in my scrap metal pile. <clears throat> but um, yeah, anyways. So this way, this is the way I would do it if you were using cattle panels. <clears throat> and if you were using goat panels, like I said, I'd go 32 inches or yeah, 32 inches down and 32 inches in cut your hole and then basically make them another 32 inches apart from one another <laughs> so like I said in a small ring like this you may only have three holes for them or in a big ring like that you may have up to six and I think that will be ideal so there you go all right. <clears throat> oh, here's a couple more. <clears throat> I'll dump these off at the scrap metal pile on my way back up front. Oh, one more. I had a feeling there was, oh, two more. I had a feeling there was three more. I had a feeling there was a couple more. All right, I think I got them all. I still got to get the ones from the other yard, but <clears throat> I got another week or two before I got to move them to that yard, so I'll worry about that later. <laughs> I still got some more work to do in this yard, too, <clears throat> but they're coming along. Soon I'll hire somebody to do the rest of my yards once we get the south property line uh, done. Then I'll hire somebody to come in and uh, start working on some more goat yards for me. Because I want them done a different way. I want them done more professionally than the way David Ray and I did them. Of course, I was mostly just following David Ray's lead. Because I thought he was an expert or I thought he knew more than what he really knows. <clears throat> and they're okay. But they're not ideal, so um, I might just hire a professional to do it right. And um, 
<clears throat> I also figured out better wood to use if we use wood. But I'm probably going to use that metal pipe that they use to drill for oil. Those things last forever. <clears throat> Longer than a lot of this wood will last. But if you did want to use wood, I found out you don't really want to use heads. Um, you want to use um, black locusts. <clears throat> black locusts will last longer, will be harder and straighter than heads. <clears throat> so, there you go. This whole thing has been a learning experience. It would be better if I grew up learning this stuff. <clears throat> but I grew up in the military. And I grew up in the city. So I've been learning the hard way over the last 10 years. Part time. And yeah, like I said, I thought David Ray knew more than he really did. He made himself out to be... Um, I don't know. He had this God complex where he acted like he knew everything and everybody else was dumb. But, uh, anyway, he was smart, but he was only book smart. He didn't really have any practical application experience. So he didn't really know anything. It's just read stuff. And so, <clears throat> He assumed it was the way he read it to be. And it doesn't always work that way. And it didn't always work that way. <sighs> About the only thing decent he accomplished on this land was the goat yards and the greenhouse. But I had to twist his arm to do everything. Even though he lived here scot-free. <clears throat> yeah, it's just another worthless eater that I had on this property. Only one guy turned out to not be a worthless eater, but he wanted to uproot everything I was doing and do it his way. And uh, turned out he also kind of had a crush on me too. So when that didn't work out, because I'm not gay, he went on his way. So <clears throat> he basically just went back to Chicago and did his own thing. But he explored other communities, but I don't know. Um, what I figure is he probably thought David Ray and I were lovers. And when I finally got rid of David Ray, he thought he could swoop in. And it's like, no, dude, I don't go that way. <clears throat> so he swooped out. <laughs> but anyways... Um, yeah. <clears throat> crazy, crazy. So now I'm, I, well, I was mostly doing this on my own until my girlfriend came along. <clears throat> so my brother moved down here too. And so he helps out every once in a while. But, uh, it's mostly just my girlfriend and I now. We're not, uh, I'm not doing no stupid sustainable community crap anymore. <clears throat> uh, most people that come out to these sustainable or intentional communities are just worthless eaters. 95% of these sustainable communities fail or intentional communities fail. And now I know why. So uh, either the person at the helm is a scam artist, which the first community I joined when I first came down here, that was the case. Oh, and then I regrouped and did it on my own. And then I had the other problem, basically just worthless eaters. Nobody wanted to do anything. So that or the other problem is, is people just don't get along. And I had that problem too. Uh, different members of the community didn't want to get along or couldn't get along or whatever <laughs> but mostly they just didn't want to do any work and they wanted everything to be done their way and it's like hey I'm the captain of the ship <clears throat> you know 
um, it's like one girl, uh, she was helping with the chicken coop, and she did a pretty good job, um, sort of, they wanted to do it their way, and I was like, I don't care how it's done, as long as it gets done, <coughs> and it wasn't exactly done right, but, you know, I made it work, so, um, but David Ray wanted to do the foundation one way, and she wanted to do it another way. And because I went with David Ray's idea instead of hers, she just quit working on it. She's like, well, it's my way or the highway, basically. I was like, no, it's my way or the highway. <clears throat> this is my community. I'm the leader. I'm the boss. But everybody else wanted to be the boss instead. It's like somebody's going to have to be in charge. Basically, what I did was I would take in everybody's information, analyze it, and make a decision. What bosses are supposed to do, right? But um, everybody, yeah. Most of the people, if it wasn't done their way, they got pissed off and they didn't want to do any work. So it's like, if we can't have it everybody's way. We got to have it one way. And they got mad because I couldn't do it 50 different ways or six different ways. It's like, we can only do it one way. Well, we can have six different projects done six different ways. But if we only have one project, we can't do it six different ways unless we have six different projects. You know, so, I don't know. I mean, we could have built another chicken coop and done it her way. But this one, we did it. A different way and she just didn't want to do it after that so i'm like fine whatever and i didn't make a big stink about it <laughs> it just took four years to get it done that's all anyways yeah it's crazy it's crazy but i'm done with all that now i'm just like fuck it i'll just do this on my own if nobody wants to be useful Nobody wants to help out. I'll just get rid of everybody and do it myself. I'm still cleaning up the garbage from all the idiots. But uh, it's coming together. Slowly, but it's coming together. All right, I got to go.